All right, so what y'all about to see is a crazy clip from the Black Ops 3 beta. I killed this dude right here. He ran past me and started shooting at him. I'm like, yeah, whatever. Come down here, I see this person. I'm like, all right, let me go ahead. I'm gonna why I didn't get that kill. I was mad I didn't. This person take out my brother. Take out that person. Now we getting something rolling. See this dude. Come on, let's go. That dude died. Throw a grenade. Throw a little concussion. Someone come out. They use a vision pulse. I'm like, I got one too. Let's even the odds. Come on, man. Like, I see you. You see me. Like, what you want to do? He ends up coming around the corner. I light his ass up. So, now, this is where I run out of ammo. I'm like, uh-oh. Like, what am I going to do? I'm just like, oh, damn. They're throwing grenades. They're throwing flashes. They, I'm already hurt. And I'm like, man, this is, this is a wrap. Like, before I go, I'm going to slap the shit out of somebody. And I'm like, back, back. I'm like, oh. And I'm like, okay, get the gun, get the gun, like, shoot, shoot, shoot. And I'm like, how the hell did I live? Oh, I don't even know what to do with myself. So I asked Von Dahar, how has the three year development cycle helped with developing Black Ops 3? He said it was enough time to experiment, fail, learn, grow, and move to the next level. And after playing a beta man, I gotta say, I agree with him. I like the beta. I know a lot of people like the beta, but I'm pretty sure like myself, everybody else wasn't expecting this. Nobody was expecting to actually like the beta and the gravity that we do and as many people that likes the beta. You know, there's no secret I've liked the past two Call of Duties. And I know it sounds crazy, but I, with that being said, I like this one. I'm happy that we got a community Call of Duty again that everybody can appreciate, like, and I think, like everybody else, I think this is going to be a good year for COD, and especially the COD community. So, this is my beta review. I'm going to start off with some, well, like, everything I didn't like, and we're going to gradually talk about everything else. And what you've seen is me using the Man of War, I, I forget the map name already, uh, but you know, I'm just going in with the Man of War, having a lot of fun. I'm using Vision Pulse instead of the Sparrow. I feel like I feel like that's the better ability than to use the Sparrow. But uh, yeah, damn, I died there. <laughs> but anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get into what I did not like about uh the multiplayer. And uh, this probably may sound scripted because you know I wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything, so I wrote it I wrote it down in my notes. So first thing. I did not like that people spam the black hat tactical equipment. Did not like that at all. You know, um, I, I don't like that they had two black hats to use every life and you, they would die, have two more, and they can just keep doing it. Um, you know, I think it should be limited to one for sure. I think that's what they should change on it, uh, with that. Uh, I wish the hardwired perk, perk, excuse me, made your score streaks immune to the black hat tactical equipment that would make it more balanced even though they have so many like if you running hardwired your score streaks will be immune to it so they can still hack your equipment or whatever but you know at least your score streaks would be immune to you know being hacked or whatever so uh i did not like the semi-automatic sniper rifle being one shot kill from the chest up like some dude just hip fired me out of the blue and um it didn't even look right it just kind of it was kind of weird like he was near me but he wasn't near me he just fired his gun off got the round and he killed right here and you know he killed me and i was pretty upset because it was like off a streak and i was like already shooting him or whatever and he was about to die and he just hip fired and killed me like that that semi-automatic sniper should be you know something like the neck up a uh, one shot kill uh let's see I also did not like how fast it shot. Like it shoots way too fast. But um, I did not like how inconsistent the burst weapons felt. There were so many times when I would one burst somebody and they would be like really far away. And then somebody would be up close and it would take like two bursts. Or it would take like three. Or like it'd be the same distance. I just killed somebody and now this one is taking, you know, two or three bursts. And it's weird like that. The burst weapons feel really inconsistent. Um, if you watch my live, you know, from the battlefield, you'll see my frustration with the XR2. Uh, I think out of the two, the M8A1 is definitely the better burst rifle. Uh, let's 
see. I did not like how some of the specialist abilities were useless. Like the kinetic armor, that thing was like bad. Like you would turn it on and it almost felt like you would lose it as fast as you like use the power or whatever. Uh, I think the duration of that needs to be increased a lot. You know, at least last you a few kills or a few gunfights, I should say. Um, let's see. I don't like that the uh, Spectre camo, it doesn't last long at all. And not only does it not last long, but you don't stay cloaked while you're shooting. And what I think they should do is increase the duration. And, you know, when you're shooting, you appear. But when you're not shooting anymore, you disappear again. As long as the, you know, the power lasts or whatever. I think that's definitely something what they should do with the, all that. And there's various other things that, with the specialists that they should rebalance and so on and so forth. So, I also did not like the part of the wall running mechanisms. Like, sometimes I would be running on, along the wall or whatever, and like, I, I wasn't angled right, so I would just fall to my death. That was pretty, you know, bad. I, I really did not like that. Um, let's see. Um, the lastly, I would change what I would change about, like, just the whole game is just an inconsistency about the, um, you know, the weapons, the imbalance on certain things, and uh, the specters, some of the abilities just being useless. But overall, man, I, you know, I enjoyed the game. I like the game, you know, well, at least I like the, you know, multiplayer, and um, really looking forward to that. Uh, as far as spawns go, I really didn't have any bad spawns. It was one time I spawned on somebody, and I was kind of messed up for that person. But uh, for the most part, the spawns are pretty good. Maybe a little tweaks here and there, maybe needed. I, I did not really lag. You know, I lagged every so often. And when I did, it was like one game. It was like an anomaly. Like, why am I lagging? But, you know, uh, I wanted to address something that Drifter, a lot of people who played on Xbox or whatever, have been saying and saying, like, PS4 is the way to go with this. And, you know, PS4 is getting a DLC early. You know, congrats to y'all. Y'all get to enjoy before us. Um, as far as my experience on Xbox One, the only problem I had with the beta besides what I disliked was the game kept crashing. As you can see, the game looks good. Of course, you know, got the color correction and all that popping, but you know. Um, what I'm trying to say is my experience on Xbox One was very good. Got the round winning kill again using that vision post. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I didn't really lag. Besides the game crashing, the graphics of the game and all that, like my experience on Xbox One was <laughs> top notch. Like, you know, uh, I wish the game didn't crash as much as it did, but I mean, it, it's pretty good, you know. So here's my score: I went 36 and 18. Uh, I think that's what that says. So if you appreciate the video, or you like the video, whatever, make sure you like the video, share it, all that jazz. Really appreciate all the feedback. Make sure you check out some videos that you haven't seen. With all that being said, man, I'll catch y'all later.